Thank you for the opportunity to have a chat to you and meet you. I've seen you online, but it's always good to have a chat in person, even if it's just via Zoom. So um, Dr. Kataria was coming out, I think it was in 2003, to actually do a, a, a tour around Australia. And that was the first time that I'd met him. I got sick in 2002. By 2003, I was better again. And so searching for laughter, if anybody wants to know more about that, they can go onto YouTube, The Laughing Man, and see the documentary on my life there. And uh, I wanted to meet this person. So I met him and I found him interesting. And the work that he was doing was quite amazing at that time. And then I just said to him, I said, you should come out again sometime and do some training and some teaching. I said, I'm a businessman. I get stuff done. Um, if you would like me to organize some training, please come out and do it. And I'm not sure who mentioned it, but I had become a professional speaker at that stage after my um subsequent wellness from my illness I wanted to be a speaker on laughter and um, the market wasn't ready for me back then but it is now and has been since 2008 since the global financial crisis there was a lot of demand for stress management and that sort of thing because of the damage that was done at an international level then and we have another opportunity right on our doorstep now with COVID to uh, make it more impact and um, so I wanted to become a professional speaker. So I was speaking at conferences and I'm going, why don't we have our own conference? So we started back, I think it was 2004. I should have done my homework before starting. I think it was 2004. The first one happened. So we combined, so we combined his training with the conference. It just made sense. And we're in Byron Bay. That's a very spiritual place um, here in Melbourne. That's very well known for having those sorts of things. And we had one and I'm going, that worked really well. Let's have another one and another one. So, yeah, as I said, I'm a businessman. I just built the laughter conference into my business plan to have it every year. So we'd had 15, uh, two years before COVID, the Japanese came across, they come across as a contingency and joined us at our conference. And then I went to their conference. So it just started to get uh, get its own um, its own being. It just started to grow all by itself. And then COVID hit and I'm going, ah, we can't have it, you know? And then I'm going, we'll just go online. Now, everybody is starting to have conferences now online because it's easy, you know, you just log in and it, it's so much easier than getting a place and this sort of thing. Um, so we had to modify the experience a little bit. So this year 
we've actually had a conference on one day and a joy festival on the next. And we've brought it down to two long half days. So the conference is on the 22nd of October. And the other thing maybe you're going to ask me, and if you're not, I'm going to answer it anyway, is <laughs> several years ago, we didn't want the same laughter yoga people talking to the same laughter yoga people. So we would invite in external people who had different areas of expertise, which wasn't directly linked to laughter. So as an example, we have Professor Paul Bennett coming on to talk about his exercise modalities that he uses with kidney dialysis people. Now, we did a research study with him with laughter anyway, laughter yoga anyway, but now he's looking at healthy aging and using different therapies and modalities. So he is absolutely one of our biggest fans who is a University um, of South Australia professor. He's coming on to talk about why laughter as a modality is so good for everybody, not just the people that he's working with. We have associate professor Erica Sloan. She is a, a, uh, an advocate of yoga and working with um, cancer, in particular people with breast cancer. And she is just absolutely devoted her life to linking yoga with helping people deal with breast cancer as an associate professor. And we've got another person who's a 20 year clown doctor and another one who's specializing with laughter yoga with children. So we're trying to sort of get out of, out of the family and get other people in um, to enlighten the laughter yoga family. We still want to maintain that connection, but then bring other people into our fold. And that's possibly what's been so unique about our laughter conferences for maybe the last four or five years to get these external influences. So it's not just a conference for laughter yogis run by laughter yogis. It's a conference for everyone that has the foundation built in Laughter Yoga Australia. Wow, that is amazing. Yay! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Sorry. we are really, really amazing. So it really, it spreads the horizon across the whole laughter spectrum. Instead of just focusing on laughter, yoga is one single thing. There is uh, different people from different walks of life, different specialists that all have some kind of connection to laughter and they all come together in one place online to share all their knowledge with whoever is interested in broadening their horizon that is really 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 amazing and the date that this is running you mentioned it very quickly it is somewhere in october yep 22nd of october friday it's on a work day because we want work professionals coming along It'll be recorded for anyone who registers anyway. They'll get a recording so nobody will miss out. And then we have the Joy Festival on the Saturday. So very much the conference about hearing from industry experts about their knowledge. And then on the Saturday, we're just going to let our hair down and we're going to have a whole lot of interactive um, workshops. Well, we can provide you with a link um, to it so that people can jump on and have a look at it. Now, whilst, Marnix, we were disappointed that we couldn't have face-to-face -face last year, going online meant that we could actually invite people from around the world so everybody can join cool. us you know everybody wow. can join us okay because that was something i was going to ask you normally the conference uh only hosts people that are from australia i reckon yep. but this year yep. is a very special edition because you have the opportunity to to invite people from all corners of the world wow we, we watch sure. what are some examples of uh amazing guests speakers that you will have from different countries than Australia just to get oh no 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 they're still from Australia they're still from <laughs> Australia because we wanted to maintain an Australian focus we wanted to market to the world these are the amazing people in Australia and and as I said the uh -huh. professor and associate professors they're they're leaders in their field um from the universities here in Australia so um yes we had the we had the temptation to go, oh, let's introduce other people. And I'm going, no, no, let's showcase the best of, that Australia has to offer to the world. So that's the approach wow. that we've taken. Really? Wowie, 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 wowie. Okay, so it's really, really a show reel of the absolute best that Australia has to offer in the laughter yoga world. And not just only laughter yoga, but all different kinds of walks of life. It is fantastic for whoever is 
interested in joining this conference, I will post a link underneath this video where you can click and you can find more information. Signing up is super, super easy because it is online. You don't have to move only your hands a little bit. <laughs> so if you're lazy, you can also sign up. <laughs> amazing, amazing, amazing. Cool. Murph, thank you so much for sharing a little bit about the upcoming Laughter conference. It was really amazing to meet you. Is there anything that you would like to share with whoever is watching this before we end our little talk? Ah, oh, yes. Don't stop learning. Don't stop <laughs> learning. If ever you get to a stage where you go, I know everything about laughter, you're missing the point. You're missing the point. I've been doing it now for 17 years and I know this much of this much. Now, my this much is a whole lot more than other people's this much, but I still only know this much of this. Never stop learning. And these conferences and talking to people, like talking to yourself and, and my other associates that I talk to around the world, it just has me, even at my age, knowing that I don't know everything that I need to know. And that's exciting. And that keeps me going um, and keeps me driven and and what, trying to work out what's the next big thing what's the next big thing so the current big thing is laughter yoga but there's another big thing out there somewhere for us so let's keep moving forward keep thinking and never be happy with what we've got because we know that there's so much more and i'm talking about healing modalities for people you know this is this is so much bigger than what it currently is it's more than a laughter session online or a laughter session in the park it's a it's a spark that could ignite a fire to really help the world at an international level. And I find that exciting. Oh, wow. <laughs> I am excited now. Yeah. <laughs> wow, we, 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 amazing, 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 Murph. I think everybody around the world should join you. I think it's a super great philosophy that you have there. Indeed, always keep on learning because if you stop on learning, if you stop discovering new things, then life becomes a little bit monotonous. <laughs> It oh, yes, it is absolutely amazing. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you so much, Murph, for whoever is Thank interested you. in joining you. I will put the link down here or maybe up there or here or here. Look in either of these four directions. You'll be able to find it. <laughs> or maybe underneath your couch. Maybe it's there. <laughs> <laughs> amazing amazing cool let's laugh everybody goodbye Merv let's laugh <laughs> let's send them a good <laughs> laughter out into their day thank you so much for sharing everything that you shared with us and wishing everybody a beautiful day and see you next week for another thank episode you. of laughter <laughs> yoga leader of the week ciao cacao <laughs> <laughs>